I'm Six Storm Team Meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri with a look at this week's weather school. Today we're talking about radiational cooling and how that plays a role in frost development. Now the term radiational cooling may sound complex, but you probably already know this process. The sun is heating up the atmosphere during the daytime hours. It's warming up our surface temperatures. And then at night, when the sun goes away, we see our surface temperatures start to drop. Now, essentially what happens is that heat is rising and it cools the surface. You are going to see cooling happen faster when we have clear skies. You probably hear me mention it a lot, but clouds at night serve as a blanket. They trap heat at the surface. When you don't have that cloud cover, temperature readings fall pretty fast and you can see cooler overnight lows. This is gonna play a role in frost development. Essentially what happens is again, the sun is heating the earth during the daytime hours, air just above the surface starting to warm. As we go into the nighttime hours, that heat rises and we get that air right above the surface to start to cool. The key is what happens next. We have to make sure that that cooling is forcing moisture onto the ground. We do need to have freezing temperature readings, so at freezing or below, right above the surface. That's where we need to see that freezing temperature or cooler in order to get frost to develop. Now you may be wondering, I've seen frost and our thermometer read 37 degrees. That's because it's reading the air temperature and that's usually a little bit warmer, but down at the surface is where we see some cooler temperature readings. Remember the surface cools first and faster and when it does so, frost can develop. For more details on this topic, head to our website at wat.com.